Most of us don't realise that the greenhouse effect is actually a really good thing. It keeps the Earth about 35 degrees warmer than it would otherwise be. It's been around for billions of years, and most likely life on Earth is largely dependent upon it, at least as we know it. Now the greenhouse effect works because the sunlight comes in through the atmosphere, is absorbed by the Earth's surface, and the Earth re-radiates that heat up into the atmosphere. Now there are gases in the atmosphere, greenhouse gases, that are really good at absorbing this heat. Those are things like water vapour and carbon dioxide. When they absorb that heat, they re-radiate the heat. Some of it back down to the ground, which warms the ground a bit more, and some of it up into space. And it's because these greenhouse gases are high up in the atmosphere, they're colder than the surface below it, that the Earth ends up emitting less radiation out to space than if it were radiated from the surface and these greenhouse gases weren't there. So in that way, the greenhouse gases act as a sort of a blanket and trap some of the heat in around the Earth. So for the last around 150 years, people have been emitting more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere through fossil fuel burning. And that's been increasing the concentrations of these greenhouse gases. And what that means is that the emission to space by the greenhouse gases that we talked about before happens at a slightly higher height in the atmosphere. So the gases that are doing that are colder and therefore the Earth loses less heat out to space. So the sunlight coming in is exactly the same, but the heat lost to space is less, so the Earth gets warmer. So we can actually tell that the rising temperatures that we see in observations are due to this increased greenhouse effect due to people. We have satellites orbiting the Earth that can measure the amount of radiation that comes off the Earth, that the Earth is emitting out to space, and we can see that's decreasing. So that helps us understand that the cause of the warming that we're seeing is not due to things like more emission from the sun or internal variability in the climate system. But more, we can actually look at the carbon dioxide that we've had, we have in the atmosphere, and, that, and see that that is from us. So we have a few lines of evidence that help us understand this. One is budget keeping. We know that the amount of carbon dioxide that we've emitted into the atmosphere is easily enough to see the amount of carbon dioxide increases that we have seen in the atmosphere. We also know that uh, the amount of carbon dioxide that comes out of volcanoes is about 50 to 100 times less than the amount we've emitted. A second really important line of evidence is when we measure the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, we can see that it's correlated with a decrease in oxygen in the atmosphere. And that tells us that the likely source of the carbon dioxide has been combustion of something. So lastly, we can tell by looking at the isotopes of the carbon in the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that the source of this carbon has likely been plants. And further, that these plants were alive a very, very long time ago. And that's exactly what coal and fossil fuels are made from, old plants. So fossil fuels are really the most obvious candidate for this increased CO2. We can see the effect of these human emissions on climate now. We're seeing temperature records being broken with increased frequency, sea levels rising, a decrease in the extent of sea ice and snow, and glaciers are retreating. The question is, what's that going to mean for the future? We know those kinds of things are going to continue to happen in the future. We know temperatures are going to continue to increase, sea levels are going to continue to rise, but at what rate? And what other effects might happen? So for example, what's going to happen to precipitation? What's going to happen to storms? How are these things going to affect things like agriculture and human migration? Those are the questions we really want to know about. So we use tools like climate models to try and help us understand what might happen. We've actually known about global warming for a long time. The term the greenhouse effect was coined and its understanding was developed in the 1820s. Carbon dioxide was identified as a greenhouse gas in the 1850s and the idea that fossil fuel burning would actually heat up the world was identified in the 1890s. So since then, what we've managed to do is just take more and more measurements of the climate system and better understand what's likely to happen.